Welcome to weekly Forex podcast from Forex Trading Wizard Academy. This is Forex Wizard, your trading coach. I'll be doing a complete multi-time frame analysis of all the hottest currency pairs, cryptocurrencies and indices that we'll be looking to trade next week. The list is a bit longer as usual, but don't worry, I'll put a time stamp in the description area. But I will suggest you to watch all of them as you have seen in our previous weekly Forex podcast. Most of the pairs did exactly according to the analysis. As you have seen this week, we had quite a few high impact news, also FOMC release. So you could find significant movement in the market in the upcoming week with clear direction of the trend. Now, before I begin this weekly Forex podcast, make sure you give a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet. Without further delay, let's get started. So let's begin with DXY as DXY will give us a clear direction of the most of the USD pairs including gold starting with DXY looking at the monthly time frame to see overall picture in the market now from the monthly perspective DXY we have seen that this month so far had a bounce from this monthly resistance so now this is the monthly resistance created a lower high and then had a strong drop now with the drop dxy currently another monthly support what i think that this week we might see a little pullback to the upside and then another wave of drop on dxy and i think that dxy highly likely could come back to this monthly support or even breaking this low this week looking at the weekly we see that from the weekly perspective, DXY following a downtrending market structure. If we draw this channel, that we see the DXY is moving on the weekly perspective along this channel, and the price is heading in that direction. We see this week so far there is a massive bearish engulfer. There is a strong drop. Now with that drop, what we can expect now DXY to go up for a little pullback and then to have another wave of drop, and we could see slowly dxy coming back to this support level from the monthly perspective looking at the daily now you can see from the daily perspective dxy had this uptrend creating series of higher high and higher low and went to the resistance zone from a reversal pattern as usual and then we have seen another drop correction drop now it is in another correction phase now this is the last day of trading week which also a very weak response from the buyer what i think that on the market opening we could see the dxy testing this high and then dropping down again or even respecting this high we could see another wave of drop on dxy from the lower time frame perspective on the intraday we see that there is a, a strong breakdown now the price is in a pullback what i think with this pullback we could see the dxy respecting this resistance and having another wave of drop on the market opening another probability is to go up and break this high testing this swing low this previous support here as a resistance along with this 20 ma to drop again to the downside so this is this is the zone that we will be waiting for a potential trading opportunity based on price section confirmation as soon as you will find suitable entry we will consider going short with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at usd jpy looking at monthly time frame now from the monthly we can see that usd jpy is a long term bullish market this is the monthly bullish price action as you can see in this monthly bullish price action there is a, a long weekend at the top and bottom which is a long term bull market now if we look at this overall picture in this market we can see that this is a strong impulse consolidation another impulse the price is creating series of higher high and higher low now if we narrow down to the recent time frame we can see that previous months usd jpy has a monthly middleman that has completely broken out of this structure now with that monthly middleman this month so far as soon as market open we have seen that usd jpy had a strong 
breakout. Now with that breakout, what we can expect USDJPY to continue to rise in that direction. If we look at the weekly, we can see that this is also a typical bullish market structure with this impulse correction, impulse correction. It is in a typical bullish market. Now, if we look at this recent time frame, we can see that this is the weekly uh, pattern here, which is a typical bullish. The price maintained a series of higher low and had a bounce. Now, with that bounce, we see this week the price closed with this long bullish candle. But I think that on the market opening, we could see that USDJPY maintaining its long term uptrend and moving towards the upside. Now, if we look at the daily, we can see there is also double doji has formed. The price has broken the daily doji's low, grabbed the liquidity and then created this massive bullish candle. What I think that on the market opening, we could see a retest of this previous resistance here. Resistance here as a support. And then we can expect another bullish move on dollar yen. Looking at further lower time frame, we can see that as you have seen in our analysis, also we discussed that from this level, the USDJPY had this bullish move. Now we saw the price has formed a narrow doji. What I think that on the market opening, we could see either a gap opening or even a retest of this level. As soon as you will see suitable a price section to the upside, a strong bullish price section will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students. Now let's look at GBP AUD looking at monthly time frame. Now from the monthly, we can see that GBP AUD is a long term bullish market. This is the massive move followed by this correction. We see that GBP AUD currently after breaking this monthly low, slowly bulls are trying to buying this market. Let's look at weekly to see what kind of price action. Now from the weekly, we saw the past week GBP AUD has formed a doji. Now this doji, you can see it has broken all this support level. What I think that on the market opening, we could see GBP AUD pulls again pushing that price high as it is a long term bullish market. We could see after back to back three weeks drop, we can expect another attempt from the buyer. If we look at the daily, we can see that from the daily perspective, GBP AUD, this is the move and the, the bears couldn't make a strong movement. And instead, we saw that the market is forming a pattern, which is a form of inverted head and shoulder. What I think on the market opening after a little pullback, we can expect GBP AUD to continue to rise to the upside as there is an imbalance in that zone in this market. If we look at the further lower time frame from the intraday, we can see that GBP AUD is, is consolidating along this area. This is a consolidation and with that consolidation, the price has completely broken to the upside. What we can expect on the lower time frame, GBP AUD to come back down and then to give us a suitable entry along this area. As soon as you will find suitable and you will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students. Now let's look at Euro AUD. Now looking at monthly time frame. Now from the monthly perspective, we can see that Euro AUD, as you can see back to back, two months strong drop. This is the monthly price action. What I think that as it is a long term bullish market, the price has come down for a pullback. We could see this week upside on Euro AUD. If we look at the weekly, we can see that back to back three weeks drop. And if we look at closely, we can see that Euro AUD has broken this weekly swing low. A little bit penetrated this level, which is a liquidity zone. We can expect now a bullish move on Euro AUD to the upside. But if we look at the daily, we can see that this is the daily move. A correction another move the price now the sellers not finding enough fuel in that zone what i think that euro aud we could see this week an uprise to this level even breaking this swing high later we might see the drop or we could see further continuation to the upside as it is a long-term bullish market the price has come to an important swing low now if we look at further lower time frame we can see that euro aud is consolidating in that area for me it could started to make a reversal pattern so 
as you can see the price is consolidating in that zone until we see a clear reversal pattern we will not be buying as it is a locally downtrend so once you will see euro aud has formed a strong reversal pattern we will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students let's look at euro cad looking at the monthly time frame now from the monthly perspective we can see that euro cad is a long-term bullish market with this strong impulse on the monthly followed by this narrow correction we have seen another impulsive phase on euro cad now with that impulse previous two months we have seen a significant movement towards the downside now euro cad has come to this monthly support level where we saw that back to back to monthly dodges and from that level we see that euro cad is slowly moving towards the upside what i think that euro cad we might see further move even to break this monthly high as it is a long term bullish market looking at the weekly we can see that from the weekly perspective euro cad is a, also this week created this bullish candle we have seen with this strong impulse followed by this narrow correction there has been another impulse now the previous week we saw that euro cad has created this bullish engulfer what we can expect this week after a little pullback to have another bullish move on euro cad looking at the daily what do you see that from the daily perspective there is an inverted head and shoulder on the daily the price has broken towards the upside now the price is testing this neckline of this previous resistance as a support and from that zone we can expect euro cad to have another bullish move towards the upside now look going down to the further lower time frame we see that euro cad on the four hour time frame the price was moving along this channel creating series of higher high and higher low what we see this week at the end of the week we saw initial breakdown what i think that we could see on the market opening another drop and highly likely we could see a break of this swing low where there is a high liquidity zone and from that level we can expect euro cad to have another bullish move towards the upside now let's look at euro gbp looking at monthly time frame now from the monthly perspective we can see that after this previous monthly long strong breakdown this month also after a little pullback the price started to drop now at this point we see that euro gbp below this monthly support and we could see further drop as what is dropping is likely to drop that's the law of trading now if we look at the weekly time frame we can see that euro gbp from the weekly perspective creating series of lower high and lower low and this is a strong downtrending market what i think this week we might see initial pullback to the upside and we could see a lower high with this long week dodgy and then we can expect a drop on euro cad now if you draw this trend line what i think the price may maintain this level and then could continue to drop if we look at the daily we can see that from the daily perspective this is the resistance line that we are expecting that euro gbp to be respected what i think that on the market opening we could see initial pull back to the upside to this resistance zone and then we can expect euro cad to have another drop so from the lower time frame we see that euro gbp in fact has formed a head and shoulder along the zone breakdown now the price is slowly going up for a pullback i will be waiting for a deeper pullback to the upside especially along this resistance line as soon as you will find suitable entry opportunity on euro gbp we will consider going short with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at euro chf looking at monthly time frame now from the monthly we can see that euro chf back to back three months we have seen a strong drop now with the drop this month after little pullback creating a higher low in the previous monthly candle we see that euro chf is moving towards the upside as we see back to back massive drop and the price is bouncing of this support we could see euro chf is moving towards the upside now if we look at the weekly we can see that there is a, a consolidation here on euro G, euro chf and then this week we have seen a breakout with this bullish candle what i think that the price might test this previous neckline of this consolidation and then we can expect another bullish move on euro chf looking at the daily we can see that euro chf from the daily perspective 
also forming typical bullish market structure this is an impulse consolidation retest of this previous resistance level as a support and we see that last day of trading week has formed a bullish candle which is a typical bullish so impulse correction we can expect another impulse on euro chf looking at further lower time frame we can see that this is the impulse uh, the price consolidated liquidity grab it has done all its job now what we can expect in the market opening on euro chf to have another pullback and then to give us an entry along this zone so as soon as we will find suitable entry opportunity on euro chf for this move to the upside we will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at euro jpy now as you can see this market is strongly bullish looking at the monthly now from the monthly perspective we see that euro jpy is a long term bullish market this is a strong bull market starting with this impulse correction impulse correction the price is creating series of higher high and higher low in this market now if we look at the weekly we can see that from the weekly perspective as well after this previous weekly doji euro jpy has a massive breakdown this is a strong movement what i think on the market opening we still can expect another wave of rise to the upside on euro jpy as this is a strong bull market looking at the daily we can see that from the daily perspective this is a, a very strong movement we can expect slower correction on the lower time frame and then we can expect another bullish move on euro jpy looking at further lower time frame we can see that this is a very um, typical bullish market structure with this liquidity grab this is a massive breakout and we saw along the way there is a multiple time liquidity grab on euro jpy as soon as we will see that euro jpy has come down for a deeper pullback we will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at gbp jpy like the euro jpy we see that gbp jpy also strongly bullish looking at the monthly time frame we can see that from the monthly perspective gbp jpy is a long term bullish market with this strong monthly impulse the price has completely broken towards the upside on gbp jpy now if we look at the weekly time frame we can see that this is also showing bullish now with this strong impulse to the upside correction impulse the price is forming um, narrower candles and then we saw this strong breakout this week now what we can expect in the upcoming week of the price to come back down for a deeper pullback and then to continue to rise to the upside now looking at the daily we can see that on the daily perspective gpp jpy maintaining this long term uptrending market structure and then finally we saw that this breakout now what we can expect in the new trading work gpp jpy to come down for a deeper pullback and then to give us another entry opportunity so for, from the further lower time frame we can expect gpp jpy to come down for a deeper pullback if we see that it is forming the, another bullish market structure along the zone then we will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at gbp and zd looking at monthly now from the monthly we can see that gbp and zd is also a long term bull market with this monthly breakout we saw that gbp and zd has formed this a very strong impulse has broken all this recent level of resistance now this is the current monthly candle we have seen initially a drop and then a, a rise to the upside because it's a very strong bull market we can expect another attempt from the buyer to move towards the upside looking at the weekly on gbp and zd we see that back to back two weeks double dodgy now this week's candle is quite significant as you can see gbp and zd has crossed this low created an overextended and from this dodgy on the weekly perspective what we can expect on the weekly on gbp and zd after a little pullback or even without pullback a move towards the upside as it is a strong impulse consolidation liquidity grab we can expect now a trend towards the upside now looking at the daily this is the daily candle on gbp and zd has formed a long week candle at the top which is a typical bullish candle and we saw that there is a bull flag here on gbp and zd 
the price in fact form a very nice looking bullish structure we'll wait for um, on the market opening i think that we could see a strong movement towards the upside in the beginning of trading from the lower time frame we can see that gbp and zd has formed an inverted head and shoulder breakout now the price is coming down to retest of this previous resistance neckline of this head and shoulder as a support and once the market open as soon as you will see gbp and zd has formed a long weekend or any kind of rejection from the support along the zone will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at gbp chf looking at monthly now from the monthly perspective we see that gbp chf is looks like it's changing its long-term downtrend to an uptrend we see that back to back two months the price is forming strong bullish price section on gbp chf and what we can expect was is to for the price to move ahead and to create a new higher high looking at the weekly we can see that from the weekly perspective this is the impulse on the weekly and with that impulse the price after forming this inverted head and shoulder breakout we can expect little correction and then to continue to rise in that direction if we look at the daily what we see that from the daily perspective gbp chf also maintaining typical bullish market structure so we saw an impulse triangle breakout another consolidation triangle breakout we can expect a little pullback to give us another bullish trading opportunity on gbp chf from the lower time frame we see that there is a, a, a local breakdown consolidation double bottom breakout we can expect the price to come down to test this previous resistance here as a support along the zone as soon as we will find suitable entry on gbp chf will consider going long with high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at gbp usd looking at monthly time frame now from the monthly we can see that gbp usd is a long-term bullish market this is what we mentioned in all our analysis the price is doing exactly as it is if we look at this one here we see that historically this is an impulse correction impulse correction it is in another impulsive phase now this is the monthly price section we see that there is a massive breakout uh, has broken all this recent level of resistance and with that breakout gbp usd currently above this resistance and we can expect this price to continue to rise in the direction if we look at the weekly price section we can see that from the weekly perspective this is a long week dodgy has this movement and correction now with that correction we saw that gbp usd has broken this swing low very important support grab liquidity and had another massive breakout now with that breakout what we can expect on gbp usd the price to come down to test this previous resistance here as a support and then to continue to rise in that direction so from the lower time frame perspective on the daily we see that gbp usd has formed an inverted head and shoulder breakout we can expect now the price to come back down on the new trading week and then to give us another entry opportunity on the lower time frame now looking at four hour we can see that gbp usd from the four hour perspective is a very nice looking bullish trend creating series of higher high and higher low in this area what you will be waiting on gbp usd to have a local breakdown i'll wait for a break of this swing low especially below this doji there is a high liquidity and as soon as you will find suitable entry opportunity on gbp usd will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at nzd had looking at monthly time frame now from the monthly perspective we can see that nzd had is showing now bullish price section with this monthly impulse to the upside the price has come down for a deeper pullback now with that pullback we saw that nzd had this is the previous resistance turn support here and then from that level we saw that nzd had has a strong bounce to the upside now if we look at the weekly we can see that from the weekly perspective this is um, a strong movement and we saw there is a channel here on nzd had and this is the this is the bull flag that has broken down now from that bull flag we saw that nzd had has a break to the upside now this is the weekly candle we saw that nzd had has a long week candle has been created what we will be waiting on the market opening a pullback 
and then another move towards the upside now if we look at the daily we can see that from the daily perspective NZD CAD has formed an inverted head and shoulder breakout now the price is coming down to retest of this previous resistance here resistance here as a support and then we can expect another bullish move on NZD CAD now from the further lower time frame we can see that the price currently showing this um, price action that is uh, forming another bullish structure we saw with this impulse consolidation local breakdown on the market opening i will wait for another wave of drop along this zone as soon as we will find suitable entry opportunity on nzd cad we will consider going long with a high probability to set up with our students now let's look at nzd chf looking at monthly time frame now from the monthly perspective on nzd chf we see that this is the monthly price section and from this monthly support nzd chf respecting this smooth trend line had a strong breakout now with that breakout on nzdchf what we can expect the price to continue to rise to create a new higher high now if we look at the weekly we can see that from the weekly perspective nzdchf has formed a double bottom and then had a breakout now with that breakout what we can expect on nzdchf the price to come down and then to give us another entry opportunity this week now if we look at the daily we can see that from the daily perspective uh, the price has formed a double bottom had a strong breakout correction and now we see that the price forming another bullish structure this is where i will be waiting for a little pullback and then to give us another entry opportunity on nzd chf now from the lower time frame perspective we see that this is a, an impulse to the upside consolidation the price had a local breakdown and now we saw there is a double bottom formation the price slowly creating this bullish move towards the upside now as soon as we will find suitable entry on nzd chf we'll consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at nzd jpy looking at monthly time frame now from the monthly perspective we can see that nzd jpy is a, a bull market with this strong impulse to the upside the price has created this consolidation and then has a breakdown on the monthly we saw that again after this previous monthly doji immediately has gone to the upside now it's a long-term bullish market we could see that this candle is growing to the upside in the upcoming days and weeks if we look at the weekly we can see that nzd jpy from the weekly perspective also significantly bullish now with this long consolidation on nzd jpy had a strong breakout now if you look at there is a doji here on nzd jpy with this movement what we can expect on nzd jpy the price to come down for a deeper pullback and then to give us another entry opportunity if we look at the daily on nzd jpy we can see that from the daily perspective there is a, a strong movement towards the upside the last day of trading week also there is a long bullish candle now with that bullish candle what we can expect on nzd jpy the price to come down for a deeper pullback and then to give us another entry opportunity now from further lower time frame we can see that nzd jpy maintaining a strong bullish market structure creating series of higher high and higher low on the lower time frame i will wait for a deeper pullback a local breakdown would be a best idea as soon as you will see ncd jpy has given a suitable entry opportunity we will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at ncd usd looking at monthly now from the monthly we can see that ncd usd after this previous monthly close as soon as this market opened this month ncd usd created a higher low and then created this massive bullish candle now with that month monthly bullish candle what we can expect on nzd usd the price to go ahead and test this resistance line to the upside now if we look at the weekly price section we see that from the weekly perspective nzd usd after this doji there is a massive move towards the upside now what we can expect on nzd usd the price to come down for a deeper pullback and then to give us another bullish trading opportunity if we look at the daily we can see that from the daily perspective the price has formed a reversal here a breakout 
last day of trading week there is a doji what i think that on the market opening we might see that the price coming down for a deeper pullback and then to give us another entry opportunity for this bullish move so looking at further lower time frame we can see that nzd usd has this move and then consolidation what we can expect a local breakdown on the market opening especially along this 20 m on the four hour if we see that nzd usd giving us suitable entry again along this direction we'll consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at dollar cad looking at monthly perspective on dollar cad we can see that as expected dollar cad on the monthly has broken this long term monthly support and the price below this level what we can expect now after a little pullback dollar cad to drop again now if we look at the weekly we can see that from the weekly perspective usd cad has this strong breakdown this is the weekly candle which is below all this level what we can expect on dollar cad for the price to go ahead and test this level and then to continue to drop in this direction now if we look at daily on dollar cad we can see that from the daily perspective there is a with this long week pain but the price has created this move and broken all this support level now what you saw that this week um, the price already has a strong breakdown and from this daily channel the price below this level what we can expect on the market opening on dollar cad to give us a little pullback and then to give us another entry opportunity for this bearish move now looking at further lower time frame we see the dollar cad has created this strong impulse narrow correction consolidation last day of trading we saw that there is a narrow doji has formed on dollar cad i will be waiting for a little bit of pullback what i think that on the market opening even we could see a respect of this high on the four hour and then to drop or we could see initially a movement to the upside to break this swing high and then to continue to drop based on the price action confirmation along this zone we will consider going short on dollar cad with a high probability to set up with our students now let's look at dollar swiss franc looking at the monthly now from the monthly we can see that usd chf has a preview uh, after this previous monthly green candle this month the price couldn't create any new higher high instead creating a lower high dollar swiss franc has a drop now because it has a massive drop what i think that highly likely we could see a retest of this monthly support on dollar swiss franc so you could see initially a pullback and then another drop on dollar swiss franc looking at the weekly this is the weekly candle that has tested this 20 ema from this resistance line we have seen a bearish candle which has a long week also at the top and bottom highly likely dollar swiss franc after testing this support we can expect another drop on usd chf if we draw this level and looking at the daily what we can expect as you can see this is the last day of trading week um there's a narrow green doji what i think that in the market opening we could even see the price is respecting the daily high and giving us another drop now from the lower time frame we see that the price is is um after this drop has gone out for a pullback we could see either another wave of move to the swing um, previous support turning resistance and then drop or even we could see a drop from this level so based on the price section confirmation along this zone as soon as we will find suitable entry we will consider going short with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at wti looking at monthly time frame now from the monthly we can see that us oil after back to back two months of a strong drop this month is ranging in between this support and resistance what i think that the price might remain in this zone this month looking at the weekly this is the weekly candle as you can see after dropping as expected uh, at the end of the week there was a, a rejection now with the rejection what i think that us oil might go up a little bit and then we could see another drop now if we look at the daily what do you see from the daily perspective this is the daily uh, dynamic resistance zone and the price is respecting this level what i think that wti 
after a little pullback we can expect a move to the upside and then we can expect us oil to continue to drop now from further lower time frame what we can expect on wti is for the price as you can see this is an impulse correction impulse correction and what we can expect on the lower time frame the price to have another wave of a rise to this resistance zone and along this zone as soon as we will find suitable entry opportunity on wta we will consider going short with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at euro dollar looking at monthly time frame now from the monthly perspective on euro dollar we can see that this is a bullish market previous months there is a long bearish candle this month what we have seen that euro dollar maintaining a higher low had a strong bounce towards the upside now with that bounce euro dollar currently approaching monthly resistance what i think that it may continue to rise to this monthly level now if we look at the weekly we can see that from the weekly perspective there is a, a strong bullish move this is the weekly candle which has closed with this long bullish candle what i think that after a little pullback we can expect on euro dollar to continue to rise now looking at daily uh, last day of trading week there is a doji after this strong movement the price form a doji what i think that on the market opening we might see a little pullback or maybe forming another doji and then we can expect another bullish move as we see that from the daily there is an inverted head and shoulder breakout correction we can expect another break towards the upside now from the lower time frame perspective we can see that this is as you can see there are back to back two profitable trade that we close this week on euro uh, dollar in our, in our forex trading wizard academy now you can see that with this is strong impulse the price consolidated in that area and then this breakdown what i think that that's a liquidity grab now once the market open along this zone i will be waiting for another entry opportunity if we see that euro dollar is rejecting from the support level then we'll consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students let's look at chf jpy looking at monthly time frame now from the monthly chf jpy you can see that this is a, a historically bullish market with this monthly impulse correction impulse this is um, forming a typical bullish market structure the price is already in the monthly resistance what i think that because you see that this price is all time high we could see that chf jpy is moving towards the upside now if we look at the weekly we can see that from the weekly perspective chf jpy after the previous weekly narrow dodgy this week after a little pullback had a strong bounce towards the upside and we can expect the price to continue to rise in that direction on chf jpy now if we look at the daily we can see that from the daily perspective the price has formed a double bottom along this area and then had a strong breakout we can expect the price to come down for a deeper pullback and then we can expect another bullish move to the upside on chfjpy now from the lower time frame perspective we can see that chfjpy created this move correction uh, this is a, a typical bullish market structure we'll be waiting for a local breakdown and once you will see the price is giving another entry opportunity we will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at gold let's see what kind of opportunity currently we have in gold looking at first of all monthly time frame now from the monthly perspective we see that gold after this previous monthly this is the resistance line the price triggered all time high and then has formed this long bearish candle on the monthly now with that long bearish candle gold closed past the previous monthly opening and closing and crossed this completely close as a long bearish candle now this month what do you see that once the market open the price initially has crossed this high and then has dropped and then the price has broken this monthly low created an overextended again has gone up to the monthly opening and closing zone what i think that as this is a falling market we could see another attempt from the seller on gold to create a new 
hair high from the big and picture perspective now if we look at the weekly this is the weekly candle on gold and what we saw that from the weekly after this massive drop uh, pullback and then the prices is still maintaining a lower high in this weekly resistance form a narrow doji now with the doji formation what i think that gold after pull back to the upside we can expect and the drop this week and with the drop what i think that even it we could see that gold is coming to this support level and then maybe later we could see another bullish move initially we can expect a drop now looking at the daily what do you see that from the daily perspective on gold as you can see this is the resistance line gold is maintaining lower high along this line and if you look at overall picture on the daily price action and market structure we see that with this liquidity gap on the gold has created this move correction move and then consolidation this is a typical bearish pattern because we once you see that the price is maintaining lower high and creating long week candles so whenever the price is reaching this resistance the sellers are selling this market and we saw that there is a, a, a strong rejection from here as well what i think that on gold we could see that this week after a little pullback to the upside we could see another drop to the support level and even we could see the price is merging in this narrow range so let's look at on the intraday perspective how the price is doing now from the four hour what do you see that this is the a dynamic resistance on gold and with that resistance the price has broken to the upside again the sellers are selling this market what i think that as you can see this is a very high liquidity zone and when the price rejected from here this is a smart money area breakout what we can expect now the price to come down and test this neckline of this previous resistance here as a support so we could see that on the upcoming week in the beginning we can expect gold to have another wave of drop so let's see on the one hour chart when we can find trading opportunity now this is the one hour chart and you can see there is a, a head and shoulder is being formed i will be waiting for initial movement to the upside and highly likely the price will break this high to grab liquidity as there is an imbalance in the zone as you can see there is a long week dodgy and we could see gold has gone up initially and as soon as you will see that gold is rejecting from the top especially if we see even a gap opening which is likely to happen even we could see on the market opening a long week candle with a gap and the price is coming down so this is where i will be on the market opening wait i will be waiting for a potential entry opportunity for this move so as soon as you will find suitable and you will consider going short on gold with a high probability trade setup with our students as you have seen previous week and every week we are have quite a few winning trades massive winning trades even you have seen on the live so if you want to trade all of them gold euro dollar gbp usd and all the instrument that we are trading and also learn our strategy and also want to be a part of this trading community you can join us uh, there is a link in the description area and also there is a link at the top of the chat click the link and then visit the website click join now button you will be able to be part of this community for the rest of your life so let's see now on cad jpy with that cad jpy looking at the monthly now from the monthly perspective on cad jpy what we see that this is a a long term bull market with this long week candle on cat jpy created this massive move now this is the monthly candle which is a, a significant bullish what we can expect on cat jpy after a little pullback another bullish move to the upside now if we look at the weekly what we can see that from the weekly perspective cat jpy this is a movement narrow correction another bullish move what we can expect a little pullback and then we can see another bullish move on cat jpy looking at daily we see that from the daily perspective uh, this is a, a long term bull market creating series of higher high and higher low and this is a complete breakout from this channel what we can expect a, a drop initial pullback once you see cat jpy 
is giving us another entry opportunity on the lower time frame we will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at cad chf looking at monthly now from the monthly we can see that cad chf after this um, strong rejection from the support uh, this is a lo very long term uh, support level we can see from that zone the price had a bounce miss that we can expect a couple of monthly candle to the upside and i think that cat chf may remain bullish for some more time now if we look at the weekly we can see that back to back two weeks dodgy and in this dodgy we saw cat chf has created a higher low lower high i think that on the market opening we might see initial drop and then we can expect another bullish move on cad chf now if we look at the daily this is the daily price action on cat chf uh, impulse and then consolidation which is a typical bullish market structure maintaining this support level cat chf is showing very strong bullish price action on the market opening any kind of pullback towards the downside will give us an entry opportunity on cat chf for this potential bullish move now from the further lower time frame what you see that cat chf is respecting the support level and the price is bouncing off once the market open on the near trading day if the cat chf is coming back down here to test this previous resistance as a support along the zone we will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at aud usd looking at monthly time frame on aud usd we see that from the monthly perspective this is the monthly strong impulse on aud usd has broken out completely to the upside and i think that after a little pullback we still can expect a bullish move on aud usd as it is a strongly rising market and you can expect the price to continue to rise looking at the weekly on aud usd we see that from the weekly perspective this is a, a weekly strong bullish candle followed by another bullish back to back every week the price is creating a strong bullish market structure and the price is above all this weekly and monthly resistance line looking at the daily we see that from the daily perspective on a ud usd this is an impulse narrower correction narrower dodgy on the market opening we might see another drop and then we can expect another bullish move on a ud usd looking at further lower time frame we see that a ud usd currently forming um, a long week candles and in that zone a consolidation pattern i'll wait for a breakdown and once you we'll see that AUD USD has given us a suitable entry for this further move we'll consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at AUD and ZD looking at monthly now from the monthly perspective AUD and ZD is a bullish market this is the monthly candle as you can see which is a strong bullish candle and what we can expect on AUD and ZD with this impulse um, a bit more correction and then another wave of rise to the upside and now looking at the weekly on AUD and ZD we see that from the weekly perspective this is the impulse on AUD and ZD followed by narrow dodgy on the weekly and what I think that this week the price might maintain a higher low with this weekly dodgy and then to move towards the upside again now looking at the daily this is the daily price action and with the daily price action we saw there is an, an impulse narrow dodgy and the impulse the price is consolidating i think that we might see a bit more downside along this zone we can expect another bullish move on aud and zd now looking at further lower time frame on aud and zd we can see that the price is maintaining this level and with this impulse consolidation and then we can expect the price to come down again along the zone and this is where we will be waiting for a potential a bullish trading opportunity on AUD and ZD. as soon as we will find suitable entry we will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at AUD JPY let's see what kind of trading opportunity currently we have looking at monthly first of all now from the monthly we can see that AUD JPY had a massive breakout we, after this monthly dodgy this month this is a long bullish candle now with that bullish candle what you can expect on a unijpy 
after a little pullback the price to continue to move towards the upside now if we look at the weekly we can see that this is a um, big bar on the weekly with this big move followed by back to back quite a few so strong movement but i think that after a little pullback we can expect on AUDJPY to continue to rise now looking at the daily now this is the daily price section as you can see every day the price is creating series of higher high and higher low i think that we could see a bit more pullback and then another attempt from the buyers now from the lower time frame we see that on a udjpy the price is you can see there is a, a massive liquidity grab here and then created this move and this is a sharp move I'll wait for a local breakdown once you see the price has broken down locally along the zone we will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at GBP CAD looking at monthly time frame now from the monthly we can see that GBP CAD is a bullish market if you closely look at we see that with this massive impulse followed by there is one doji there's another doji back to back two monthly doges and the price has broken out followed by a narrow correction we see that another monthly bullish candle now this current monthly candle the price has broken this low and then created this move towards the upside on gbb cad with that movement what we can expect the price to continue to rise in that direction now if we look at the weekly we can see that from the weekly perspective on GBP CAD, uh, this is the long week candle on, on the weekly on GBP CAD and the price tested this 20 EMA and then has broken towards the upside. Now we see that this is a typical bullish market structure. Last week, the candle that has formed, there is a long week at the top and bottom, which is a typical bullish candle. Now, if we look at the daily, this is the daily candle we saw that there is a long week and also narrow body at the bottom what i think that on the market opening we might see a daily low is broken and then we can expect another bullish move so this is the daily support once the price i really like will break this support will give a very high probability trading opportunity on gbp cad now from the four hour we see that quite a few times the price violated this support there is a high liquidity and from that support there is a narrow doji once the market open if the price managed to break this low along this zone i will be i will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at usd czar now let's see what kind of trading opportunity we have now looking at the monthly on usd czar we see this after creating this all-time high on USDZR, there is a, a massive rejection from the top. The price already below the previous monthly low. What I think that is, this is a massive rejection. We might see that USDZR coming down even to test this monthly 20 EMA. Now, looking at the weekly, we can see that from the weekly perspective, there is a narrow pin bar on USDZR and then a drop. Now with that drop, what we can expect after a little pullback, another drop on USD ZAR. Now if we look at the daily, this is the daily price section with this long week pin, but the price is creating series of lower high and lower low. Now this are, you can see there's a narrow everyday narrower candle creating series of lower high. I will be waiting for the price to go ahead and test this and then to continue to drop again now from further lower time frame on usdzr what we can see that the price is maintaining a typical trending market structure now once the market open we'll be waiting for a break to the upside and along this zone as soon as you will find suitable entry opportunity on usdzr we'll consider going short with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at a ud cad now looking at a uh, bigger picture monthly now from the monthly perspective on a ud cad this is a, a strong impulse on the monthly now with that impulse a ud cad currently almost crossed the previous monthly high it's come down for a pullback what i think that 
uh, the price may continue to rise in that direction now if we look at the weekly back to back after this previous weekly bullish candle this week as expected there's a gap opening and then a movement created a long week candle i think that on the market opening this week we might see initial drop again then we can expect another bullish move on AUD CAD now looking at the daily what we see that from the daily perspective on AUD CAD this is a, a strong impulse narrow correction another impulse we can expect AUD CAD to continue to rise in that direction this is last day of trading week we saw a pullback and we can expect the price to come down and then to give us another entry opportunity now from for the lower time frame on a UD CAD we see that the price is this is local breakdown we can expect a bit more downside and once we'll see the price has another drop and giving us a strong rejection from the support level we can expect to go long on a UD CAD with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at in this is looking at the NASDAQ looking at monthly time frame now from the monthly we can see the nasdaq has reached monthly resistance exactly as i mentioned in my previous analysis as well the price reached that monthly swing high now from that resistance we saw this is rejection on nasdaq and we can expect now the price to come down for a deeper pullback and then to continue to rise now if we look at the weekly on nasdaq we can see that from the weekly perspective after this doji there is a, another bullish candle immediately from that support with the gap opening what i think that on the market opening we can expect now a pullback and then to go up again now if we look at the daily last day of trading we get pin bar and there's a movement we can expect now the price to come down for a deeper pullback along this zone and then we can expect another bullish move on nasdaq from further lower time frame we see the price is consolidating in that important area i think that nasdaq might come down uh, it might even break any of this liquidity zone um, any of this swing low and then we could see another wave of drop so as it's a long-term bull market i will wait for further deeper pullback and once you will find suitable entry again you will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at us 30 looking at monthly time frame now from the monthly we can see that us 30 has formed this um, strong bullish engulfer now this monthly candle as you can see the price created a higher low with the previous monthly and then from this long bullish candle that has a long week at the top and the price has broken all this monthly resistance line and we can expect after a little pullback another wave of uprise on this one now looking at the weekly this is a weekly impulse the price has gone to this resistance line what we can expect on us 30 the price to come down and then to give us another entry opportunity on us 30 now looking at the daily now this is the daily price section and we see that with this daily move and this is the impulse correction impulse correction it is in another uh, impulse now we can expect the price to come down to test this previous resistance here resistance here as a support and from that zone we can expect um, us 30 to continue to rise now from the further lower time frame on us 30 you can see there is a, a consolidation here breakout this is a smart money area what i think that we could see the price again coming down to test this neckline of this previous resistance which is starting support here and along this zone as soon as you will find suitable entry opportunity on us 30 will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now these are the forex and indices that you will be looking to trade next week guys if you um, want to trade all of them with us and also learn our strategies be part of this trading community also you can join us there is a link in the description area you can visit the website and then you can join to be part of this trading community thank you and i'll see you soon in my next analysis